Okay. Terminal. Shipment mistake. Uh, Rob Kosa. First off, let me say that everyone here is really excited. Oh, yeah. We read about this. And the shipment came... Okay. So, workplace mi misbehavior. In light of yesterday's upsetting events, all employees are hereby directed to give a, a thorough reading to the Repcon sexual harassment and workplace behavior policies. Also, while it is not explicitly stated in the employee handbook, unauthorized use of military hardware against fellow employees is grounds for immediate termination. <laughs> I, lo I love... I love these. Sincerely, Daniel. So, uh, don't fire at people. Uh, uh, search the nearby room for Stealth Boys shipment with the news that's still- okay. Well, we'll do some searching. It says, we are sending back two crates of devices labeled Stealth Boys back to you. According to the manifest, each crate contained a gross of 144 of the devices. As a result of employee misbehavior, not mine, one crate was open and is missing five Stealth Boys. Sorry about that. Sincerely. Sanjeev Rajan Custodian. <laughs> oh my. That's uh, adorable. So I guess all these crates are probably empty. I feel like he is not going to be a happy nightkin camper when we tell him that nobody has that the stealth boys aren't here gosh darn it yep all empty i know it says empty i know you can look at it and say it says empty but still my brain wants to open every box as if it might not be empty because i'm 10. we'll pick up his drugs it doesn't look like there's anything over there all right What the- oh. Dang it. Pay attention. Oh, look. Oh, shoot. Dang, pay attention. Jeez. You could see them right there. It's not like they weren't- Whatever. So dumb. Dude. That was fantastic. Do you remember when we saved last? Like, forever ago. Just before we found her. Can I just say that that legitimately freaked me out? Awesome. Basically in the same place, just a couple steps back. But oh my gosh, that legitimately scared me. In that way where I was surprised It made my brain hurt. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I'm usually in the habit. Did you find my friend? I did. Sorry, buddy. I damn it. Hop. I know. Bye. Have fun. Let's see, it's here. We're gonna disarm the spare traps. So that we don't die. But we're not even gonna need to go. Hey, buddy, see ya. This will give us the information that we need. 
Alright. See, it says search the nearby room. What nearby room? That's what I was looking at. We know that none of these boxes has anything. All of these... Like... Yeah, I'm... Ooh, ouch. Oh, no, that was her. It's more Nikon, just on the ground. Ah, ouch. I don't see any nearby room. Oh, shoot. Did it get me? I think it did. Uh, but I will take all of these things. Don't need that. Whoa. I am not skilled enough to disarm that trap. Man, this guy has got this whole place rigged up. Pretty awesome. There's another mine. Wow. I feel like I should be getting uh, experience for this. See? Yeah, cool. Whatever. Eh. All right. Fine. Cool. I don't see any other nearby rooms to search. Okay, guy. I had to kill a bunch of your friends. And uh, please don't hate me. Trouble. Antler says you oh, no. Yeah, I see. Bumper sword. Yep, Jason, we got rid of your nightkin problem. I feel like if you'd done this in a different order. Last time I didn't have to kill him. Everybody is lit on fire. <laughs> Definitely doing a lot of fire fire burning people with. So the nightkin are taken care of. Now we can help our ghoul friends. Whoa. This is one of those twisting, turning stair problems that make me so dizzy. Alright, let's see real quick. What is our sleep? Not bad. Hydration is the problem. Why do I look so sad? Is it because I'm thirsty? My rads aren't bad. It's really just I'm thirsty. I 
Hey, man. You, with the glowy shirt. Is the way clear? It is. The demons are gone. Praise the creator, and bless you, wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, wanderer. There is much to be done. Okay. Head to the basement. Remember where we just were? That was the basement. Follow these guys through this door to the basement. Oh, look, it's a whole herd of them. Running with the ghouls. Yeah, look at us. We're gonna do this journeying. I mean, I'm not gonna journey, but someone else can. Did they all come in? They're probably all at different places. I wonder how far down they went. Ooh, must have gone the wrong way. Gotta go the other way. Nope. Further than this. Oh, look at that. Were these stairs here before? I don't recall those stairs being there. So, as we roam along, last time I was able to do all the parts of this quest and still be able to talk to the guy, tell him that there were no stealth boys. He was mad about it, but I did convince him to leave. All right, look at all these ghouls. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. Cool. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Please don't Our preparations remember me. are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. Oh no. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Awesome. You're going to make your great journey on these rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. Uh... <laughs> so this far beyond then... I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Okay, all right. So Chris, then. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human, but this only angered him. He seemed lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity, and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the Great Journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris Adam to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. Your Redeemers both. Uh, you're leaving Chris on the ground? Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown Stop me that, that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. 
The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is That's much twice. stronger. <laughs> well, that's none of my business. Chris shall be declared the saint of the great journey before we depart. Oh, good. I hope this will ease his sadness. Right. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Cool. Cool. So, Chris, then. Hey, buddy. Hey there. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. Yeah. So, Great Journey is gonna use those rockets. Obviously. It's taken months, Obviously. but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. Us? I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. Okay, how can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Oh no. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. Well, that sounds As safe. for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Okay. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Uh, where? Any tips, man? Repcon has Anything. been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Oh, good. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Got it. Okay. Later. So... Ruins to the east... Let's see. All right. Okay. I think what we're going to do. Oh, look. Nice. Yeah. All right. I think. What time is it? Ooh, it's starting to get a little late. Highway 95's Viper Encampment. Novak. We'll go to Novak. Yeah. It's... it's Careful. It, they got spies all over. Thanks, Nobark. I think you're the coolest. What time is it? It is... 555, what's my situation? Okay, dude, look at that Brahmin's udders. Just take a minute. Jeez. That looks like one uncomfortable animal. Ugh. Nothing, nothing good. Okay, so we need to go way over there. See if we can find some isotope. Yeah, I I find it it's always really challenging. This guy who thinks that he's a ghoul, believes in their cause, helps them to get to where they need to go, and then they're gonna just leave him behind because they have to, basically. Because there's nothing they can do for him. And he'll die, like, instantly. Even though, if you asked him, wow, what the heck is out here? 
If you asked him what he wanted, do you think Chris would say, I'd rather die than live here alone? Uh-oh. There they are. Oh man, can't hit that thing. Nope. <laughs> oh, it's silliness. So it looks like we're gonna be killing a ton of geckos out here. Oh no! Here, Eddie. Do me a favor. You wanna... Pack animal it up for me a bit? Here, carry this. And those. These. Oh, and the rebar clubs. There we go. I bet we're not encumbered now. The heck is that? Uh... What? Oh. Nice. Mr. Radical's journey. Let's, uh... Okay... Mr. Radical's journal, right? That's what we just picked up. Mr. Radical's journal. Day one. Love the suit. Can scavenge anywhere now. Screw the rats. I hereby christen myself Mr. Radical. Get it? Ha. Huh. Day four. Suit passed first test with flying yellow colors. Overnight visit to Yucca Mountain. Didn't go too deep because something big moving around further down tunnel. So what is that? Yucca Mountain. Uh, rad level high, even where I was, and I didn't feel a tickle. Go, rad suit, go! Day five. Vomited all morning. Didn't splash on suit or I'd be pissed. Must be something I ate. Oh, sure. This is, yeah. Day nine. Exciting. Ran across old woman's scrapyard. Bought glowing container for measly 50 caps. Heading for Clark Field to prove suit at higher rad levels. If it holds up, I'm going to pop this jar of goop open and pour it all over me. I bet I could swim in this stuff if I had enough of it. Oh yeah! Seems like poor choices. This guy is making poor life choices. Rep contest site. Please be at the stairs. Of course not. Ooh, we're gonna have to sleep soon. I wonder how many days I can go without sleep. I think I only actually need to sleep for an hour to uh, be fully rested. Which is ridiculous because uh, I can't do that in real life. <clears throat> and for the record, I, stu I still do feel bad about killing the Night Kid. It's not really their fault that they're all insane. I think it's... Oh, I think I'm going the wrong way. No, we got this. Wait, this way? Now we're lost. Uh-oh. This way. See? You see how I did that? The worst. I should, uh, next time check where those- where that ladder comes out. forever in the Repcon facility. Yeah, 
That's what I was saying. I need to figure... I need to take a look around so I remember where it is. Hey, Jason. I have your isotope. There it is. I need to figure out how to get back in. Jason. Have you found the components we discussed? I found your isotope. Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. Now all I need is the thrust control modules. All right. Scavengers wouldn't know the value of the modules just by looking at them. If you know any junk dealers in the area, I'd start there. Ooh. Later. Do you think that might be Miss Gibson? All right. Yeah, let's see. So the travel, is there a fast travel point that's close? See, if I go, hang on. Oh yeah, there it is, got it, right here. Oops. Wait a second, what? There, right here. Got it, okay. Coming around. And that's where we travel in, right up there. Got it. All right, so now we'll go to the scrapyard. She's probably asleep. Dang it for night time. Now what time is it? Well, let's go to Novak then. We can sleep too. Oh wait, it's night. There she goes. La 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 la. Do do do. We're gonna save. Hey there. Who said hey there? What up, dude? I'm gonna go in here. All right, so he said he saw someone come in it in here. All right, here we go. Nope. Gosh darn it. Bill of sale. Bill of sale. We, the representatives of the Consul Officiorum, have this day bargained and purchased from Jenny May Crawford, one of the township of Novak, the exclusive rights to ownership and sale of the slave Carla Boone for the sum of 1,000 bottle caps and those of her unborn child for the sum of 500 bottle caps. The receipt whereof is hereby acknowledged. We warrant the slave and her young to be sound, healthy, and slaves for life. We covenant with the said Jeannie May Crawford that we have full power to bargain and sell said slave and her offspring. Payment of an additional 500 bottle caps will be due pending successful maturation of the fetus, the claim to which shall be guaranteed by the possession of this document. Administrator, Consul, this is Caesar's Legion. Oh my god, you guys. Alright, let's get out of here. Well, I guess we know what happened to Boone's wife. Oh my god, y'all. I bet Boone's up there right now, too. Do 
do? You shouldn't be here. If people know we talked, they'll suspect you. And if whoever did this smells a rat, they'll have the Legion after both of us. Oh, okay. Don't come here again till it's over. Uh... He wants to straight murder someone for this. But it's not like... Oh man, that's... All right, so here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna save an exit. <laughs> we will pick up all of this craziness next time. We're gonna cliffhanger this just a minute. Also, look at how stained this is. Gross, and I have to sleep here? Ugh. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out. It's been a little while. We have some serious decisions to make. We've got some stuff to do. And uh, we need to sleep. And next weekend, we'll make a decision about what to do about Jeannie May and her selling people into slavery. Oh my gosh. Okay. Next time. But thanks for hanging out. Have a good evening. We'll talk to you next time. Yeah.